Hello guys, welcome you faces back to another Stoneworks video. Today, I'm working back on my tanker thingamabobby right here. Alright, we got a lot to do because one thing, we are stalling out. Oh, well, we're not really stalling out, but we're close to stalling out. Uh, so either I change the gear ratio, we add another engine, or yeah, I guess that's it. I guess that's all we need to do. We can turn it into an electric boat if we wanted to, but I don't want to do that. And, um, yeah, I think we should be good. I also want to add some lights to the outside, maybe add some sort of antenna system on the top, and uh, we should be good from there. So, let's go ahead and add a bunch of stuff, and hopefully it'll end up looking pretty good. Okay, so, we got stuff to do. If we go have a little look down here, let's have a little look around, and we'll see if we can fit maybe another engine inside here or something like that. Uh, what we've got at the minute is I want more fuel tanks in here I want these to be a little bit bigger. Maybe some custom fuel tanks would do but uh, I'm not sure about that So we'll leave that like that for now. That's okay uh, If you have a little look in these engines. All right cool So the engines they are one to three and minus one or one to minus one So that's a reverse gear right there if we then go to the next one and we do this That means the reverse gear is a little bit faster than normal. So we'll go ahead and do that Okay, because that's a good idea um, they're also one to one so this is one to three this is one to one and that should allow it to go all the way to the back being three times the RPS I guess uh, so that's pretty good what I want to do is I want to add something that will stop it from sounding like it's gonna stall now I'm not entirely sure how this will work all right I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys I'm not sure how this will work however if I go ahead and place that right there all right we go ahead and we place a uh, an angled piece on it all right, okay, like this, and we put a clutch on there, okay? Right, if you guys are following this, this is good. All right, cool. So we put the clutch on there, that's good. And then we put this on here as it's supposed to go on, all right? So that sort of makes sense to me because that'll increase the torque in the pipes, all right? So that might allow the thingamabobby to go a little bit quicker, which is fantastic. Then we could go down and we could put another one on there, which we don't necessarily need to do, but there you go. We could go ahead and do that, and we could bring it all the way down. All right, straight piece, bring it down, and we want to split it into two. So, we want to delete this piece, and the same piece on the other side, all right? And we want to get a T piece, which is one of these, and put it right there, beautiful. We also want to put one right here as well. Okay, good. And we want to attach all of those together, like so. All right, cool, so that's all good. Uh, now they just need electricity, and they also need all the front pieces. So all the front pieces is going to be really annoying, uh, but we'll see. All right, cool. So where does that come from? What are these ones? I don't know what these ones are. Also, where, where does the air even go to? Oh, man. All right, cool. The air goes to there. That makes sense. All right, cool. We can sort of pipe into those, I guess. Sure. Um, this one is the exhaust. All right. Okay, cool. That's the exhaust. All right, let's, let's tie into the exhaust. Oh, yeah. Let's tie into the exhaust. It's on this side. Uh, so, air supply. We need something else. Uh, exhaust. That's all good. We just need to pitch this upwards. And we should be fine. Alright. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and go upwards. Let's go ahead and delete, I guess, this. Yeah, sure. We'll delete that right there. Uh, we'll, in fact, actually delete it backwards a tiny bit. That's okay. Uh, there we go. And we need to do something like this. Alright, that's good. That's all fine. Uh, then we need to come out of there like this. And we need to put the angle piece on there. Beautiful. All right, okay. That's all good. That's exactly what we kind of needed to do. All right, delete this one for now. We need to do this and this. And we need to attach it to there instead. All right, straight piece coming out of there. Beautiful. Do this, wherever that goes to. And do this, like so. All right, cool. So that's our exhaust done. Uh, now we need a heat sink, okay? So we'll go ahead and grab a heat sink real quick. We'll go ahead and shove one, I guess, on the fuel tank somewhere. Uh, like... I guess here will do actually go all the way down to the floor and we could just shove one in right there Yeah, all right. That makes sense. All right, cool. We need to connect that together as well uh, The air situation is this right here. I think wait actually hold on Hold on a second. Oh, no, the air doesn't go into this. The air doesn't even go into this at all uh, But that's okay, right cool. So we need to go forwards all the way to this piece almost then we need to delete it All right, cool and then we need to bring it all the way over to, to an air situation, uh, which is going on, I guess, over here. All right. We need to delete this piece and this piece, actually. And we need to try and make it so that they go together, because at the minute, they don't. 
Do that. There we go. Beautiful. Do this. All right, cool. Do that. Yeah, that's good. All right, cool. That's actually completely fine. Now I can just do this. All right, because there's no four-way section thing in my bobbies. And we can do this. All right, cool. So that's the air supply sorted. That's all good. Uh, what else we got? We got coolant, and then we got fuel. The fuel has to go, like, all the way over here. All right. And what we could do is we could delete these, put some of these in. All right, one there, one there, and I guess one in the middle. Yeah, one there like that. That's beautiful. Do this and attach them together via one of these. All right, fantastic. That's the fuel situation done. Now, we've got, like, a tiny amount of fuel in this thing. So this will need to be changed to a proper tank soon. Uh, and then all we need to do is attach these uh, or this thing, which is A-OK. -okay. We need to just mirror it and we could just pop them on there. Pop them inwards, okay, because we need them to go inside and then upwards again. All right, like so. And that's all good. That is all good right there. Beautiful. And then we just put this on there. All right, flip it around. That's all good. All right, cool. Now everything needs electricity real quick. All right, cool. So you need electricity. That's good. All right, we'll go for you to you to you to you. All right, cool. And these all need to go to the right places. So the clutch is this one. The throttle is this one. The uh, on-off switch is that one. All right, cool. Right, so now that we've done all of that, what we need to do is we need to go into this first gearbox and we need to make it one to three. All right, that'll increase the torque of this one engine and hopefully that'll make the whole thing turn on a little bit quicker, uh, which would be fantastic. Let's go ahead and spawn it in and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Beautiful. So she spawned in. She's got one more engine in the front, which is uh, making it sort of go nose down a little bit. But that's okay, because nose down is fine. Also, I couldn't find out how to do this. Uh, that is actually one block uh, coming in. So I can't paint that one piece right there. I have to paint the entire block. So we're going to leave it like that for now. All right, cool. Go inside. Go ahead and do this. Go ahead and do this. Beautiful. That should allow all the engines to run. Then go ahead and do this. And we are going a speed of two. Why are we only going two? That one's full. That one's got a really bad exhaust. Okay. And this one is full as well. All right. Okay. Hmm. Ah. Well, that one engine in the middle didn't really help us, did it? It made us go a little bit slower, uh, which is not the best. That's not the best at all. But if I go backwards a little bit, maybe I'm doing this wrong. I don't know whether you can have one engine increasing the torque. I was just thinking of like, um, like a starter motor kind of thing. Uh, but maybe we could use an electric engine for that. Oh, that makes sense, actually. We could totally use, a, like, an electric motor. All right, cool. Do that again. There we go. Beautiful. Do this again. Oh. 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 Yeah, that's way better. We are only going eight, which is, uh, I think, a little bit slower than we were going. But it also works. So that's good. You can sort of slam in the clutch, and it works. So that's fantastic. Alrighty, now what I want to do is I want to paint the outside a little bit because at the minute, it's not right. It is not right. Uh, I want to go like, I don't want to jug it, but I want to I want to sort of sail around the outside this height. Alright, that sort of seems like a weird height to be going for. Uh, but I feel like that's the water line, so we're going to go for it anyway. And I feel like that should be completely fine. Completely fine. Uh, then we'll go ahead and do the red as well because this bit needs to be red. Alright, fantastic. Hopefully everything is now painted, except from this. That needs painting. All right, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Do 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 do. There we go, fan dabby dozy. That's good. If we scroll all the way to the front, is there anything that needs painting over there? Not really. However, these pieces do need to come down uh, a little bit, unless we go up, which would be interesting, wouldn't it? That would be interesting if the waterline thing changed. Because the front bit is generally lower in the water, but I guess that's not the way it works. Anyway, that's fine. We'll leave it like that. That seems a-okay. All right, cool. Now we need to change onto the lights. So we need some lights somewhere. We need some spotlights on the front. And we need some spotlights on the back. We also need some lights lining the, uh, the carrier. The carrier? I guess we could call it a carrier. That's fine. All right, cool. Yeah, let's do that. Alrighty, so I've got a bunch of lights right here. Let's go ahead and start deleting some things and putting these thingamabobbies in. So... We'll delete them on both sides to begin with, and we'll go all the way along. We'll put them on each one of these lines, because each one of these lines is, is, yeah. Yeah, I think we should put them on each one of those lines. That makes sense, right? Yeah, I'm sure of it. All right, cool. Go ahead and plaster these in. Uh, these seem to be the wrong color. Wait, is that white? Wait, I'm so confused now. We need it to be this color. There we go. All right, is that too dark? 
No, that's right. That's about right. That's good. Uh, right, cool. Then all we need to do is flick these around a little bit, bring them up, and put them in each one of these pieces. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Beautiful. Beautiful. And uh, we need some, like, in here somewhere. So what we can do is we can put them in the side of this. And I think that'll look all right. Grab this, this color. We then do this. We flip it around a little bit. We flip it around, spin it around. That's good. Beautiful. And we'll bring it to the front as well. And we'll put like one, I guess, here as well. Because uh, that seems like a good old place to put one. All right. Go ahead and grab this. Put it like this. All right. Fantastic. I don't want any on the front because we can't actually walk on the front. We don't need them to be there. So that's good. All right. Cool. On the roof, we're going to go ahead and add two facing forwards. All right. Okay. We're going to build them like this, which is really an odd way of doing it, but that's okay. And we're going to go ahead and do this. Delete this piece and this piece. And we need a wedge. All right. We need one of those wedge pieces. Go ahead and just shove them on. There we go. Wedge there. Wedge there. Do wedges all the way along the back. All right. Beautiful. Then all we need to do is attach one of these to the front. And we're good to go. All right. Cool. There's some, uh, there's some spotlights right there. We'll do exactly the same thing on the back. So we'll go ahead and do this. All right. Do these three. I think we're in line. So that's good. Do this. Put these things on. All right. Fantastic. And we'll do a bunch of this as well. All right, and then we'll just put these on the back, and voila! We got them on the front and the back. That's that's perfect. That is perfect right there. All right, cool. We need some buttons. Uh, we need some buttons to actually sort these out. Uh, toggle button. Sure, we'll get one of those. And also, I want another helm. And this helm is going to control the backlights uh, from this position over here. All right, the backlights are going to be controlled from there. The front lights are going to be controlled from here. All right, fantastic. Let's go ahead and attach those together. So A and D is left and right. We don't want to do that. We just want to do up and down for now. All right, there we go. Up and down for now is sorted. Up and down for now as well. That's also sorted. Awesome. All right, cool. Now everything just needs electricity and some buttons, and we're good to go. All righty, so I've just finished up wiring all of these things together. That is epic. All right, cool. Now all I want to do is I want to sort of like use these dials because we've got a bunch of dials up here that we're not using. Um, I want to go to the fuel tank. All right, cool. We're going to go to that fuel tank right there. That seems like a good idea. So that's fuel. Let's go ahead and click on that and click fuel. Um, and that's going to change. That is going to change. We need a bigger fuel tank. Uh, and that's completely fine. Uh, if we go to this one, what can we attach this one to? How about we go for... Uh, the battery, because the battery doesn't have anything yet. And the battery, we're only on, running on one large battery, which is really bad, actually. Uh, battery. All right, cool. Then we're going to go to something else with this one. I'm not entirely sure what we should do with this one. Uh, we could do, like, depth, I suppose. But I don't want to do depth. How about we go ahead and we do, like, engine RPS on one of these? I'm not sure. Uh, engine temperature. It should be the same. In fact, actually, we'll do engine temperature for the middle one. And we'll do engine temperature for one of the left or right ones. Uh, because they're both running the same, all right? They're both running the same. This one's running differently because it's got a different gearbox. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, we'll say temp engine and temp engine. Why don't I put engine temp? I don't know. Temp engine. All right, cool. So that's all good. Uh, they don't have backlights, but that's okay. Let's go see what all the lights are like. And hopefully we'll be a-okay. All right, good. All right, nice. Uh, yeah, jump across. All of the lights are on these little lines right here. That's all fantastic. I don't think I've labeled the light button. So uh, we're going to have to just press it. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and change it to nighttime so you guys can see what it's like. All right, go ahead and have a little look. Yeah, there we go. There we go. That looks pretty good, actually. That looks pretty good. And then what we want to do is if I press 1, we get these lights and we can point them up and down. All right, that's pretty awesome. All right, cool. We can see the whole back of our ship. If we do the front piece, we do the same thing. Press 1 and voila. That's awesome. We need them to be sticky, though, because at the minute, they go back to normal. So, uh, that's a thing. All right, cool. Where's my battery? Uh, battery is this one. We are still full on battery. That's really weird, because I'm using all the electricity from the spotlights. Uh, but whatever. That's fine. All right, cool. Turn the bridge lights on as well. Has that changed it? Nope. And, um, yeah, let's go. All right, cool. Turn this to full. Beautiful. Go ahead and do this. All right. There's our engine temperatures going up. Beautiful. And do this. We should be able to start going. Which we are. All right. Awesome sauce. That's fantastic. That is actually fantastic right there. Beautiful. Okay. I do kind of want to know what it would be like if I changed these, uh, the FPS or the RPS around. Sorry. The, the FPS. If I changed the, um, the RPS around. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab 
these gearboxes. Okay, we're gonna grab these gearboxes right in the middle. We're gonna bring this down real quick, and we're gonna we're gonna select these gearboxes. Okay. Uh, the reason being is so that we can turn them around. So we go ahead and we just copy. Oh, we cut. There we go. We'll turn them around. Beautiful. And we'll bring it this way. All right. And then we'll paste them. All right. Okay. Logic. Then tells me. Oh wait. Hold on. Touch those to there. Then we'll spawn it in, and we'll see if we go quicker. Then I think it was how how fast was it? I think it was eight. Eight, eight meters per second. I think that's good. I think that's good. Eight meters per second is all right as it is. Uh, but more meters per second is even better. We'll go ahead and do that. It will sound like it's stalling out again, even though we've got one extra engine. And we'll see what happens. We're at 9. 9.30. That's not bad, but it's an extra engine for an extra, what, one, one meter per second? That's, that's actually pretty bad. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess we could keep it like that. I'm not sure. I'm I'm okay with the stalling out noise because it's not actually stalling out. So um, yeah, we could actually get rid of this engine that we've just put in and spent ages putting in. Uh, but there you go. Right, cool. Anyway, I guess I'm gonna leave this one here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. In the next one, I'm probably gonna put some doors on the top, some cargo doors on the top, so that we could do something with those. I might put some sort of like uh, crane on this back piece right here because that'd be kind of cool. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll actually see what happens next time. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.